These machines might look like an odd collection of white goods, but they're doing some serious work. Every machine you see here is a DNA sequencer. All of them can read genomes. A genome being the complete genetic material of an organism, which is made up of DNA. These sequencers can analyze DNA from any source, blood from a cancer patient, plant material from a walamai pine, microorganisms in wine ferments, or scat from a quokka. For example, we've sequenced the entire koala genome. This is perhaps our biggest achievement to date. To read a genome or sequence the DNA, we need to start by extracting that DNA from the tissue or specimen. That can be blood, saliva, or plant tissue. DNA, when it's in solution, really looks rather unremarkable. It's just a colorless, odorless liquid. And what it really sort of hides is the power of information that's contained within that tube. We prepare DNA for sequencing using liquid handling robots. Through a series of enzymatic and chemical reactions, we prepare the DNA in a format that is ready to be loaded onto the sequencers. Much of the work that we do uses our largest flagship sequencer, the Illumina NovaSeq. With this technology, we can simultaneously sequence multiple human, animal or plant genomes in just one to two days. To sequence or read DNA on the Illumina NovaSeq, we first attach it to the surface of a glass slide or flow cell. Once attached to the surface of the slide, the DNA is then replicated to form billions of small clusters of DNA, each with the same sequence. When sequenced, each cluster of DNA molecules will emit a light signal that is strong enough to be detected by a camera, with each base, A, G, T or C, having its own unique signal. These signals are then decoded to produce the DNA sequence for each cluster. But not all sequencers take up as much room as a domestic fridge or cost as much as an inner city apartment. Some of them can fit in your pocket. This is an Oxford Nanopore Minine. It is a pocket-sized next-generation sequencer. What this is really doing is democratising sequencing and allowing researchers to take it into the field and do sequencing in real time, whether that be in a boat on the Antarctic or in a rainforest looking at green tree frogs, for example. So let's go to the lab and see how this amazing new pocket-sized technology is being used in teaching and research. This smart little sequencer works by monitoring changes to an electrical current as the DNA passes through a protein nanopore. The resulting electrical signals are decoded to provide the DNA sequence. These small sequencers are an affordable, accessible way for our undergraduate students, the next generation of scientists, to sequence genomes simply by plugging the device into their laptop or desktop computer and running the program. This mobile sequencing instrument is really making a difference in how we teach genomics in the lab and out in the field. And in the future it could become a routine part of public healthcare. One day you might be able to carry your genome around in your pocket for tailored medical treatment. These devices represent the future in mobile sequencing technology.